on, folks. Hello. Welcome. <clears throat> That's gracious. Here. Here. Oh. I'm a little bit... Maybe I'm a little bit far away from... I need to... I need to... I need to... I need to adjust my mic slightly. Might need to move it entirely at some point. No, I'm just like really low. Hello? Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, oh, that's better. Oh, hello. I am. Um... Delightful! Ah! Hello, welcome to the bots. The bots are here. Welcome, welcome bots. We're pleased to have you, and um, make yourselves at home. <clears throat> we're 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 all here, and we're all good. All right, I can see myself talking. It's not a hoss, yeah. That's right, Mort. The Clone Wars are here. They're here right now. Um. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Just waiting for this to load up. Yeah, it works. Okay. Hello, welcome everyone. We're back in Zelda. Um it's um it's um a little bit it's a little bit later than usual, but that's alright. Um this could be the stream wherein we face our, our nemesis, nemesis Ganon. Um, that'll be exciting. Um, so we're, we're just going to get right into it, if that's all right with you. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's, um, let's just go to continue. That's incredibly, incredibly loud for me. Okay, that's better. Uh, where in the absolute shit are we? Wait, you know what? This will work. Hold on. Okay. We're in level 8. Um, I guess we could bomb a few walls, but we don't have any bombs, so we can't do that, actually. Uh, yeah, the, um, Birdo, or whatever. Oh, fuck me. I think we just skipped these fellas last time. Um, let's just go through these old, old passages and try and figure out, uh, what the fuck is up. Okay, Bubbles. Can we kill Bubbles with magic? That's a question. I'm guessing no. Yeah, doesn't look like it. I think they are. I think they are invincible. I don't think that they take any form of damage whatsoever. Looks like we're going to have to fight a lot of uh, Iron Knuckles. The good news is, is that we'll probably only have to... Uh, iron Knuckles. Uh, dark nuts. I think we'll only have to do it once, though, uh, because um, they are near a locked door. And usually, once you kill something that's by the shut, the the, the closed doors, they uh, they stay dead, which is nice. Um, so we will. Um, we will. We don't really have anything that's going to make this fight easy. I will say that much. Uh, the boomerang doesn't stun him. The uh, whistle does nothing. The arrows do nothing. I guess we have a potion we can pop if things get really bad. Magic does nothing as far as I know. We might as well take it, because why not? And also there's turrets in here, so... 
What we can attempt to do is run into everything. We can kind of attempt to hide in this doorway. Okay, yeah. That's kind of as... Oh, Christ. It's kind of as I expected with the, uh... With the, uh... The magic in that it does absolutely zilch. We'll go to this, uh, the boomerang, just in case they drop something, drop something. We can maybe run out and snatch it real quick. But we are going to definitely cheese the crap out of this as much as possible. That we got a hit already. I think that was the exact same one. We hit, managed to hit the same one twice in a row. We did take a slight bit of damage, though. Um, which is fine. A little bit of damage is all right. A little bit of damage never really hurt anyone. I came out at the wrong time there. I'm not sure why. I knew where they were. We, we've pretty much got like the perfect angle if they're w one square away from the exit. We can we can snake like this guy. Oh, of course he would turn. It's all right. This is gonna take some tries. Hey Jeb, what's up? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Bee boo, bee boo, boo, bee boo, boo. Uh, we may be able to do a little bit of farm now that everything's dead. Or that we're dead. But we also may not be able to do a little bit of farm. Depends on how bad. I think these dungeons start to get pretty rough for, um. in terms of, like, getting items. I think this was just Knuckles, wasn't it? Or Knuckles. I keep, I'm suddenly now calling them Iron Knuckles. Which is, at least they're big and armored opponents, but... They're definitely not Iron Knuckles. Knuckles? Sure. Oh, Christ. Link, please no. Uh, what's in this other room, really quick? Okay, so maybe we can get some... Okay, well we got a heart back, which is kind of nice. I guess we can we can pop a potion if we're looking uh, good in this fight. If it's if it's going well, we'll potion. Otherwise, we will not. If we get it down to like maybe two, I could have it now and be able to shoot sword, but... I could try that, yeah. The but being mainly that, um... There's so many, uh, fellers, uh... uh shooting crap at me, I, I feel as though the magic sword may not last very long. Oh! Wham! Alright, one down. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh my god. Alright, well... <laughs> Maybe we will just try the magic sword routine, if this doesn't work. I came for that guy a little bit too hard, and he, uh, shut me down. a little bit about the patience and the cheese. Well, you can, but it's generally frowned upon. In my experience. I think they're being a little bit more wily now. Ah, I could have gotten that one, but I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to poke my head out and get cut by homeboy there. I could probably take a few steps out. The turrets just really kind of cannot hit you when you're up close against the wall, though. They're kind of... The far ones aren't shooting very accurate, and the close ones, I'm not sure what they're even shooting. something. Give me something to work with. Aha! Ah! <laughs> shit! Alright, we'll try the potion this time. If we can get in there, um, and, uh, magic sword him, we'll be set. And uh, we, we've got plenty of potion uh, elsewhere in the game. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're not going to use it just yet. We're going to get up to that room. We're going to try and take out some of those... Um... Actually, no. We'll just, we'll just go up. We'll just go up. Oh my gosh. What the, what the dodge is, though. Oh my gosh, Link, please. Is the price that is a low price to pay. Nope. Oh. It's interesting that you can actually like wind the sword up and then shoot the other direction. I find that an intriguing uh, thing. is so true. Alright. We can't get that heart either, but also we kind of don't need it right now. Oh, thanks, ma'am. How dare you dodge my swords. 
How quick he is when the uh, there's no lasers in the sky. I could probably like pop out and and really like go toe to toe with this fella right now, but look at him dodging. He's like teasing me right now. What are you doing? Oh man! Come here! Come on! Don't dodge my swords. Yeah. He is busting a lot of moves. Ah, I was took it. I was two one step too far in. All right, we got him. All right. Um. Okay. We got a key. Hopefully they'll stay dead. I think they might because I, they usually, like I said earlier, with those rooms where the uh, doors are like that, you're usually okay. I did sort of step out and get chunked there. <laughs> now I've stunned him in front of the door. It's alright. We're okay to get hit now, really. I mean, obviously, the more we cannot get hit... Alright, we're gonna just... I don't know what this room is. Ah, oh, it's this one. Alright, I would never figure this out. In the dark. Thanks! Great timing on that one. Are, do these... are any of these, like, secret? I don't think they are. We'll give it a shot, just for fun. I guess we, uh, since Jub is here. I guess we can do a little bit of candling. Okay, alright. It was not worth the try, but we did it anyway. So, now we can feel rest, we can rest assured. Secure in the knowledge that we, um, gave it a shot. Okay, this looks like a boss room. Okay, no, there's just four, or three of these four. I can't count. Now these, I believe, are one-hit kills, oops, uh, at this point. They do a lot of damage, though, boy golly. I could just go in and mix it up with them. Because they are, oh, just one, one shot will do them. But also, you know, what happens when I, I try and do anything. The massive failure. Blonk! Come here. Move up or down, come on. No, not there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, well, we've got some bombs. Um, we've only got four, which is kind of an issue. Because I would really like to start testing some walls, uh, but we're going to have to be really strategic about it. Because I don't know uh, anything about the layout of level eight. Oh, here's a boss room. Oh, it's Goma. Hey, Goma. It's a blue Goma, though. Oh, what? Didn't I block one? Oh, 
what is the hitbox on this eye? Why did I run right back into that? Ran right into that one, too. Okay, there we go. It's like a Street Fighter character or something, isn't it? I don't know, it's the Dragon Ball, maybe? I don't have any experience with either. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god. I think it's getting more accurate, or I'm just absolute trash, which is probably the more- God damn it, this fucking bug. Alright, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Does the sword do good on Goma? Oh, that was bullshit. Well, now we won't know. Oh, fuck off. Oh, finally. Christ almighty. Alright. Alright, well, we'll deal with this room later. I'm not feeling it right now. Let's see what's north. It's the old man. What do you got? Spectacle Rock. It is called Spectacle Rock. It's an entrance to death. Okay, thanks, buddy. Now we know all about Spectacle Rock. Do we try some bombs in here? Let's try some bombs in here. We'll clear a room at least, huh? Okay. Old man's room has no secrets. That's fine. I guess we could do one here as well. Bombs are kind of a hot commodity right now, but we gotta use them where we can. Alright, let's save our last one. Uh. Okay, well, nothing down here at least. Um, we can go back into this room. Hopefully it's not full of knuckles again. It did stay closed. Oh, Link. Please. Okay, that's just the bottom of this room. Which is fine. Okay, what's in, um, this is the Pole's voice. Can we shoot? Are they dead? Okay, let's try and get them. Maybe we'll get some goodies from them. I will take that. Alright, that's pretty good. Um... Okay. Oh, wait. I'm gonna look at the map. Okay, we could do some bomb laying. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's anywhere to go aside from the room full of garbage. So I guess... Oh, fuck off. Alright, well... Back to this this thing again. Alright, we're we're never exploring any other rooms of this dungeon ever again. 
Because this is just bullshit to have to deal with any time further than once to open those doors. one left. Okay. I can handle that. We just got a regular sword hit there. That was pretty 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 tasty. Oh fuck. Stay in the room, Link. Christ almighty. That's not good. We still got the sword, thankfully. Okay, one hit, one more. All we need is one more. Alright. And we got the heart we lost back. Almost just in time to lose it again, which is rough. Okay, we don't want to come at it from this angle. Luckily they were not there again. Okay, these guys are back, but these guys are also kind of whatever. Yeah, the south is never the way to attack anything in this game. Um, okay, we did waste some ammo there, but it, whatever. Um, we want to go up to the Goma Room. North of us is the old man. This is the way we can use to shoot the bow, or the arrow, or the, the sword, or whatever I'm trying to say. Alright, took care of two of the knuckles, or dark nuts. I do not know where Iron Knuckle came from for these. Aside from the obvious similarity. Okay. Doing great in here. Somehow did not get hit by the bubble. I mean, I really don't need to, at this point, uh, hide so much. Although it does sort of fuck me up when the uh, bubbles are tanking everything I do. Alright, we will just continue to hide. Whatever. I don't care at this point. Come on. Walk into the sword, you clown. Alright, not for that. That's good too. Okay, there's some of our ammo back. Uh, I suppose we can attempt to bomb this wall. Alright, that's a big zero. That's fine. We have plenty of keys. Hopefully this doesn't close behind us. Oh my god. We have no option, we have no recourse, but to just stand here and pray for the best. Okay, well, we're in a bad spot now. I'm not sure how- oh god, please go down there. Not sure how we hit that one guy. I'm pretty sure he was still facing us.
little bit of input lag, it felt like, there. What? Alright, well, that's not good. Oh dear. Alright, well there's only four of them left at this point. And they're so unpredictable. I would say I have a lot of hearts left, but it really does not take long. they forget where you are after a bit. Three left. Got a hit. totally silent as I concentrate on these. Must be an incredibly engaging thing to watch right now. So. Okay, we're down to one. We picked up a heart. We almost poked our dumb head out just enough to get stepped on. Now this clown just has to walk a little bit too close. That's all that needs to happen. Oh, 
<laughs> my fucking god. Alright, we're just gonna stay down here then. So painful. Give me a room filled with Aquamentus, and it would be so much better than this. This is this is just not fun. <laughs> Not having a good time right now. There does there's no strategy you can have with these things, because they just they just go in random paths. See, I could have attacked him there, but he probably would have just zipped around and stabbed me. For no reason. I mean maybe there's some like crazy if you know everything about Zelda's strategy that you can use, but Get in there, you dipshit. Come on. Please come down here. And then, because then you, you get one chance to attack, and then the rest of it is just like 15 minutes of this. I mean, I could just go out there and attack him, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain it would not go well. Let's see? Alright, well, we went into the wrong room. Fine. Here would just be the one. Yep. So we'll just, we'll just wait. We'll just bide our time and wait. Maybe we'll get lucky sometime before we all become skeletons. Bone zone should be on there, I don't know why it isn't. Any day now would be just great. I would really like to just be done with this dungeon. Any old time would be just fucking great. <laughs> that was the boomerang, not the sword. And we, we 
I've lost another heart or half a heart or whatever they take. No, we that was our, our one chance to hit him in the last it has been like fifteen minutes, I think. Of just this. Just staring at this one guy doing whatever the fuck he's doing. I could attack that when he's walking up, but the amount of times that they just start walking straight down again is is so high. They zigzag more going up and down than any other direction, it seems like. We've got maybe two good hits left in us, so we're just going to play it as safe as possible. I will only attack him if he walks horizontally on the square, whatever, that's right above the one in front of the door. Second square from the bottom. Second row from the bottom. Okay, one hit. We need one more. Just like that. That would be great. Once again, these fellows should stay dead at, for, for some amount of time. Apparently, that's not a permanent thing. But we can hope that this one at least will... There's something in the next room will not be so bad. Hopefully. Really, really would just love for him to come down here. Now turn. Yep, turn. Okay, please stay that direction. He didn't. And I, I had a little bit of input lag there. I, I definitely pushed up and then hit um, the A button to sword him. But the uh, sword did not actually manifest until I was facing back downwards again. So there, I think there may be some input lag with this. The, the order of operations was definitely up, A, down, not, not the other way around. Maybe the sword is just a little bit laggy, period? I don't know. I couldn't say. Up, right, down, right, up, down, up, down. Up, right, down, oh, left, okay, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Incredible. Alright, he's going right, he's going up, he's going left, I'm, I, I, I don't know why I, I just transposed left and right there, but I sure did, oh well. Okay, well, he's dead. We've got half a heart. We'll be able to see what's in this next room. At very least. Is it... Cool. What's this? What's this stuff? Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn it. Damn it. Thank you for the bits. I heard I heard the bits drop, didn't you? I appreciate that. Bubbles are the worst. They really are the worst. Okay, so we're starting uh, from here from the beginning again. Um, we don't have really anything right now. We'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm assuming that all the, um, the Knuckles have returned. Again, with Knuckles. At this point, just fuck it. Okay, yeah, they're all back. So we're gonna leave the dungeon at this point. And we're going to try and find a fairy fountain. Maybe buy a potion. Um, there should be a fairy fountain actually quite close to where we are. Somewhere. Oh, speaking of fairies, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Hmm, some extra bombs would be also quite nice. Uh, bombs are pretty handy against the, um, the Dark Nuts, because they are the only thing that can hurt them. Equipment-wise. So bombs are welcome, and will be utilized to the fullest extent that I can uh, manage to avail myself of their use. Yep. I would, honestly, Dark Souls is probably easier than this. That may be a controversial hot take, but... In this game, you have three weapons you can get. You have one attack you can do with... Well, two attacks, if you count the magic sword blast. That you can do with all three of those weapons. And, um... You have a boomerang that works on only some enemies. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm agreeing with the, uh, the point he's making. Kids these days have it good. I mean, you're fine. You're just fine. Um, I know the fairy fountain is somewhere. I don't know where. Is it through here? Also, like, there's so much, like, weird hitbox. Like, that just happened there, where you can get hit and something else can't get hit, or vice versa, or or whatever, that you just don't get these days. Everything is so precise now. Well, I, I guess by the time we get to the Fairy Fountain, we will have probably full hearts, which I suppose is... is Kind of the the intent either way. But we would have full hearts if I would stop getting my ass beat. We'll also have some extra arrows, which is good. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what the uh, what to what how to make that distinction work. Is this is there just bullshit in this game? Or is it actual difficulty? I think this is the very fountain. It is. Your bits are broken? Oh no. That sounds really terrible. You should go to the doctor and get your bits looked at. Because... Damn. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Oh my goodness, a thousand bits. Alright. Well, they all came through at once, I suppose. Did you tell me to hydrate? I will. I need to, um, figure out my... Okay, you did. I'll do it again. Thank you. 
Oh, man. I can do a stretch as well. What a what a time this has been. Are we missing an item between the ladder and the power bracelet? It feels like we might be. But I don't know what it would be. We might not be. On the excuse me, on the same note. You know what? It might be the light arrows. Or whatever they're called in this. Okay, we are full up on everything. This is fantastic. It does look like thing space, for sure. Let's get the fuck in here. Okay. So we're now equipped to, um... Actually, you know what we should do? Before we get deep into... This shit. Is we should go bomb all the, the doors, or walls, and, um, that we have so far. And see if there's anything in any of these lower levels. Um, I'm guessing no, but this way we're not, like, trying to not get hit, and, um, a basic bitch one. Oh, the cheer emotes are broken. Exactly, Dim. That's exactly what it is. But you know what? If you gotta lose them, you might as well. Right, we don't need these Gibdos running interference for the nuts. Please and thanks. Gibdos nuts? Oh my god. Is that okay to say? Oops. Banned from Twitch. Wow, that's really harsh. That is super duper harsh. Okay, we're just gonna we're just going full bullshit this whole game at this point. Alright, Bubbles, you're all really something else. Thank you all for your service. I'm so glad that you could be here with me today. just want to point out that that Dark Nut, as he was walking up the wall there, did I could see his sprite flash for one instant where he attempted to walk into where I was in the doorway. You're dead. You're dead! Alright. We're gonna try and bomb uh, both of these walls. Okay. We're gonna head right back the fuck out. Bottom wall we don't need to worry about. You're dead to me, Dark Knight! We will attempt to bomb this one. Uh, this is probably full of things again. Yes, but they are wee babbies compared to me. You can use the horn now. Thank you for another hundred bits. That's I appreciate that. I'm sorry that the cheer modes weren't working. But I, I appreciate everything all the same. You guys are fantastic. Alright, look at that. Uh, I didn't mean to leave. Well, I did mean to leave, but I didn't intend to leave. We're gonna bomb the, uh, the right wall and the top wall, I suppose. I'm not sure what dungeon I'm in. Oh my god. Sorry about everything that's happening right now, Job. Alright, fuck it. Oh my god, the bubbles make this in so painful. Okay. Uh, 
we will check the left and the right of the next room. Okay, next room is nuts. Um, we don't have to check any of the the room or the walls in there, uh, but we will try and scoot to the uh, right and not fight anything. Okay, I didn't mean to go all the way through. That's fine though. We're gonna poke out. We're gonna snipe as many of these fellers as we can. Hopefully with the correct tool. This guy needs to stop camping me. That's fantastic. Alright, we're gonna try and poke into this room, kill some of these uh, Poles boys, and pray they drop a heart. That was really cool. Hey, you better be scared. Got all but one. One arrow. It's like, do, does, did anyone have that, um, that was it, I think it was a DOS game, where you play as like, a weird sort of janky, uh, pixel Robin Hood fellow, and you have to shoot, uh, balloons, red balloons, as they float up past the screen. I think they're red. And they, they, they float up in a, float up in a row, and you have to like, choose your arrow speed. Not choose your arrow speed, but you draw the bow back, and then you let it go. And uh, it will, it will, you will attempt to bust as many balloons as possible. Do you remember that? That's kind of what that reminded me of with Cole's voice in there. I, I, I mean, yeah, it's not. I guess it's not a very original game concept. Obviously, do not, sir. One left. One hit left. We got him. Alright, what was in this room? I guess we might as well attempt to uh, bomb some of these walls. Thank you for the, the bits. A hundred more. Appreciate that much, Lee. I don't really need to be wasting all of my arrows on these guys. Um, we could bomb this, and in fact we will. Is it nothing? Um, I don't remember what, oh, this was more nuts, but it was just the three, uh, orange ones. But we also have, uh, three potential bomb areas here, so... We'll at least try and get as many of them as we can out of the way, then we don't have to worry about it so much. I'll try not to get shot. Alright, well... Okay, that's good. We actually got some extra bombs. We are now down a heart, which is going to make everything a little bit more difficult. Uh, thank you for more bits. I'm appreciating all these bits. You're very nice. I appreciate that. So many. So many bits. How, how nice of you. Um, we didn't go into the Pole's voice room and bomb anything, did we?
I did get him. Okay, well, we'll go in there. Hopefully that doesn't respawn all these knuckles, but if it does, then whatever. Um... Is this... No, we'll just try it. Fuck it. Whatever. Nada. Alright. Are the knuckles back? No. Okay. That's good. We'll continue north from here. Um, I forgot about this room. Um... This is the room that we attacked from the right side. So we'll do that this time as well. I could, yes, that is fair. Did we bomb this wall? I don't remember. Okay, so we have bombed every wall uh, possible. We did, because the old man room was above us, I think. And we bombed both of his, for sure. So, uh, we've got one b wall to bomb uh, on the right here, in this next room. Alright, we can do this. This can be done. That's good. We're gonna leave the, the Dark Nut for as long as we can leave him. I mean, the blue nut, of course. Oh! Oh, you're all mine. You're all dead. Fantastic. Alright, that's what I like to see. Alright, let us bomb this final wall. Ain't nothing. Alright, we are striking way out on these, even though... The, the main reason I'm bombing every wall here is generally because... Um, we had so many... Um, thank you for the bits. We had so many... Um, we, or we had to bomb a wall to get to make progress into the dungeon. So... Oops. Okay. We're gonna play this like we did previously. Hopefully we make some progress. The good news is that there's a dearth of targets. But also, I will be, again, totally silent. Most of this time. Until, at some point, one of them slips and I'm able to hit one. This is why being at the bottom of the screen sucks, is because the hitboxes are wonky down here, and um, everything tends to move weird at the bottom of the screen. Fuck. Yeah. Exactly like so. Ugh. I also don't know the range of the sword in this game, so, like, I will step out and try and hit something, and completely not get close enough. Well, I did hit him that time. But he had turned around, as they do. Alright. If I can get one, that'd be great. Fuck. Alright, we're gonna...
<laughs> uh, great. That's great. I really like that. I really like. I really like that. That's really good. It's good when you 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 just fuck up. All right. Next. Next one. Nope. Okay, one dead. Time now. The good thing about having so many targets is you have so many targets. The bad thing about having so many targets is that they all clot up and then you can't attack any of them, even though you have one like that in relatively good position to attack. So. Just the fucking way the cookie crumbles. Please walk in front of the door. Okay, that's two down. Four to go. Almost. Ugh, fuck. Ugh, Jesus, fuck. Alright. Well, a Fyrick victory, but we hit one. turn just a step too close. Tyrrhic victory, yeah. That's how all mine are. Oh, don't stop moving, you dipshit. You have to win first. I'm not convinced we're gonna win. Not like that, at any rate. God fucking damn it. 
I don't know what I was doing there. I'm lucky I was smart enough to realize I was doing something dumb. result was really kind of just nothing there. A net zero gain, but we're down to three. I don't know. Don't know what I was doing there. Three hearts. I don't. Uh, we had some or something. I don't know. And then. We got hit. I don't know if we gained a heart or if we lost overall. I think we lost overall by half a heart. <sighs> okay. Come on. Please, 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 please. three hits, we can win it. Also, three hits and we can lose it. Two hits. I um, realized that I, I should have purchased a potion while I was out in the town, but I didn't, so we'll do that if we die again. I don't know where any potion sellers are on this side of the island. I don't really know where any of them are, to be quite honest with you. to find one. Oh shit, Sarah! Fair point, Job. But then we'll have to find our way back here. From wherever we are. But yes, you are correct. Although, I, I guess we're kind of close to several dungeons in this area, so we could probably flute around and get close to it.
correct. You are quite correct. Thanks, robots. Really appreciate the follows from the robots. Two at once. Okay, that just revitalized this. And also made it stop being so goddamn loud. Ah, hit the fucking boomerang again. I feel like I should, Jub. Guess so. Robots are good luck. Two hits, I believe. I don't know if I've hit this guy yet, or, or not, but two hits and, and we're out. Epona? Come on, Dark Nut. Come on, Dark Nut. Oh, Haas. Nice. That's pretty good. Come on, Dark Nut. Please. Please. Make a... make a slip. Okay, well, I slipped instead. Three hearts! <clears throat> the fact that the... that was the only, um... Okay, that was one hit. That was the only nut to drop anything. Okay, well, we did get shot in the ass just now. No, we did manage to block it. Well, with our final bomb... I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't bomb that, that other wall, because that would have been bad. Thank you for the bit, Serena. Appreciate it. There's a manhandler in here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Manhandla, really good, uh, with sword. Um, really don't know what else to do with Manhandla. What was in this room? Oh, this was this fucking shithole that I sh really should not have gone in on. Great. 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 Alright, great. Great. It's great. No, everything's great. No, it's all good. We're great. Everything's great. I don't need to use my sword anyway, guys. It's fine. Why would I... Why would I need to use my sword in a room full of goddamn enemies that you can only hit with your sword, hmm? No, oh, it's really good. It's, it's one of the best. It's one of the best. It's, it's game design. We got it. We got it. Hello, Serena. What What's up? What's up? Ganon defeated. Yep. Okay, let's flute around. Let's see if we can't find... Um, actually, let's head up to the great... the, the fairy fountain. Wherever the fairy fountain is. Where did we decide that was?
up. We, yes, correct. It's actually, I think it's adjacent to this screen. Oh no, wait, the temple is. Okay, so this is two, which is good, because that we know that's close to where we're headed. Up north of here is a way out to the coast. Um, this is a dead end, okay, with the Armos. Uh, maybe is it down a screen and then and then right or left? Let's go left. I think it's it's I think it's inward more. Oh, yeah, I think it's this way. North of the pushable rock? I like that the, um... Okay, I think it's this way. I don't know, I'm so lost now. So, in my experience with this game, albeit limited, um, anything that kills anything in one hit will has the, the a higher probability to drop loot. So if you can kill something in one hit, you will generally get more loot. In, in my experience. Again, limited. Sorry about what? What is there to be sorry for? Sorry that I keep running into the same fire over and over again? Cause I'm sorry about that too, because I continue doing it. side where the stairs were. What? Okay. This one? Oh, north here? Um, I can only go north once here. side? Which east? You mean... Oh, wait, here? Okay, I get you now. This is the desert. I, I was remembering that's where the desert were at, but... We'll try, um... We'll try again. I don't know what I'm doing. This is the dead end. Is this a... That's just a... A normal lady. Uh, yep. Is it here? Up there. 
Yeah, that's what I did last time. It's, um... It's one of the... Uh, it's like a, a two-wide path, and it's on the left side of the screen. That much I know. Why I keep running into fire, I'll never know. Okay, that seemed like I was gonna block it, but I suppose not. Okay, we've gone too far here. Up here, it is not, because that's the desert, and then the other way goes to another way to the desert. Nothing here. And this is the coast again. And it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's, it's more this way. I don't know. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, sure. Hit me. I don't care. Do whatever, man. One west of the desert? Okay. That's... That feels maybe right. Yeah. Okay, here's the desert. Okay. Should be north from here. Oh. Alright. I don't know. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna farm. I don't care, honestly. I really don't care. We're just gonna do some farming. Fuck the fairy fountain. I just, I don't have time to fuck around looking for it. If we find it, we find it. I'll try to remember where it is this time. Is this, wait, is it just this? And I'm, was here before? Okay, no. I, I thought that went up to the coast, but I wasn't sure. We need to go get the potions anyway, so we'll be leaving. That's fine. I don't know. Ah. Well. We did find eight again, at least. We're back where we started this whole adventure. In level eight. That's fine. We're just here to farm at this point. This will help. Sort of. Nice triple kill with the uh, wand. That was pretty cool. I don't want to go out there. It's just key hats or something, I think. Okay, not much there. Tech tights. Tights galore. Alright. Getting a lot of rupees as well, which is gonna be handy because, by golly, we're gonna need them. Okay. And this, this is where the fairy fountain is. I can see it now. I remember it now, like it was yesterday. 
Okay, now I know exactly where it is. We'll be able to come back here anytime we want. Oh, I did it. I did it, everyone. Alright, let's, um... Let's toot the horn and see if we can't get... Can't get... The... Somewhere close to a place where there is a potion. Oh shit, I forgot, it's just dependent on which direction you're facing. And I can't remember... Okay, that takes you back one. This is just gonna take me to the one I was just at, because I was facing down. This is two. This is one. Is this gonna take me to seven? Yes, in fact, it did. I think there's a potion lady close enough to this one. So we'll go talk to her. drop anything. Kind of annoying. I guess uh, uh, the other funny thing about uh, what we just did, all that fucking around looking for fairy fountains, could have been 100% circumvented had I just gone to 7 and then gone up here. Because there's just a super easy fo fairy fountain right here. So. Okay, sera, sera. But, you know what? We learned where it is. In future, we've, we've got a lot of, of things that we can... We've got options. We're rich now. Uh, this would be our potion seller here. Unless it is not. Okay, it is. I will buy medicine before I go. Thank you, ma'am. Alright. Dungeon 6. Well, that worked as well. I knew there was one nearish to 7, so that worked. You see that snipe as we got carried away? Okay, that's gonna work. This should take us to 2. Now we are close enough uh, to go back to where we want to be. Oh, what a dodge. Alright. And eight is, like, down here, I think, and then, like, one to the right. Something. Maybe one down? Yeah, okay. Alright, we're back. We got a potion, we got some other stuff. That's great. I think I also just remembered while I was changing the flute that when you're in a dungeon and use the flute, it takes you back to the entrance. So that's something to remember for later. Something we can try at a later date. I will have a hydrate and a stretch. Thank you, Serena. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the bits and all the help. You guys are great. We'll just, um, we'll just keep trying. We'll just keep banging our head against it. We'll get it. So we don't need to take any of these side rooms. We can kind of just go straight up and get into these Knuckles fights. And, um, hopefully we will, uh, fare slightly better. Uh, we, we go one up here, and then we go, um, we actually cut this way. Oh, no, wait. Fuck. Alright, well, that's, we're already fucked. Great. Alright, now, prepare for a, okay. Prepare for a nice long fight in here. No, 
No, I appreciate it. It's all right. All right. It's going great. It's going great already. Two hits in. Cheese dark nuts, because I'm sick and tired of fighting them in every single room in this dungeon so far. So, how are you? What's up? a good chance there and missed one. Raging at parkour. Ah. Uh, that sounds about right. Par parkour and Assassin's Creed. I only ever played the first one of those, so... I really enjoyed it. I, I always intended to go back and, and play more of the games in the series. And have never done it. I, what am I doing? As they say, the road to hell is paved in good intentions, and sometimes my intention to play a video game never really manifests into anything. Ah, nice. Unity was the France one, and Syndicate was the one that was in England, I think? There was a chance there. I flinched though, I didn't want to poke out and get fucking stabbed. It's kind of like when you're driving and you want to like... You're trying to like... Make like a, a, like a left turn. And uh, there's like a bunch of cars coming. You don't really know where exactly they are. For some reason, there's like a weird depth perception issue at that intersection. And everything looks like it's coming a little bit quicker than it is. And you're like, I can't make that. And then it's like 15 minutes before the cars get to you. And you're like, oh, well, fuck, I could have made that like 17,000 times. That's kind of what it's like. Oh, for shit's sake. 
Okay. We got a couple more dark nuts to go. And then we can move from this room into another. Um, and hopefully, we'll do alright. Ubisoft is a weird beast, though. And they have a lot of good game concepts, but boy, the execution just, uh, not always, but very often, falls pretty flat. Or they, they release a game that is just totally broken and then never... Well, they do patch them, but... You never buy an Ubisoft game at release. You always wait until like two or three years later when it's A on sale and B actually works pretty well. That's my philosophy these days with regards to Ubisoft. That would have been a shot. But I, how was I to know that he was going to just immediately turn 90 degrees and walk the other direction? Ow. Yeah, I was expecting him to do what that one just did and walk right up to me. Because that is most often what they do. Fuck. Yikes. That's a rough job. That is real rough. That's the best time to do it. There, I line my shield up with the two grooves in the floor, right in front of the doorway. That feels good. It's nice to line up pixels. Nope. I thought about hitting him twice, but didn't want to sit there and take the damage just in case. For honor was rough, yeah. For honor was like a fun game, but um... Oh, fudge. Alright, well we got one. We're down to one. For honor was a fun enough game, I guess, but... The skill gap in people online was, it was too much, too much for me. And it wasn't fun enough to play offline, so. And like the weird stats on, on armor and stuff that affected your performance, your damage and whatnot online was a bit play to win for me. Play to win? Pay to win. So. Or, well, you know, there's there's sort of an interesting... It, it's There's, like, weird systems in, in games where it's not... Did they? I that, I haven't even thought about it for ages, so... Ah, uh, okay, well... I didn't, I didn't ever play it, so... There you go. Um... They, they, they do do... They do do that in video games, though, where... Um... Okay, well, I don't remember anything more. Um... Some video games they do where there's like like a compounding stats thing for for games where they make them inaccessible for newer players by giving older players such high stat rating items and such. I can't think of any examples, but I know I've thought about it before. Really like for this dark nut to just come here.
Well, that was an insane waste of bombs. Fantastic. This is just... Just a... Uh, just great. It's great. Alright, he's fucking dead. Move on. <clears throat> okay, I need a bow. Maybe we can get a couple of these pulls voice. Oh, please. Okay, well that works as well. Probably should have just bowed it and maybe gotten an item, but they are Gibdos. Uh, no, I got them when I shot him with an arrow. Okay, here is the old Goma room. The north of us is the old man. This room is full of more bullshit. Uh, and this time with the added Fuck. With the added loveliness of... Bubbles. Arrows do pick up items. Pretty much anything you can hit an arrow with will pick it up. Or hit an item with will pick it up. Boomerang. Arrows. Sword. Not the flying sword, but the, um, the regular sword. We'll, we'll get them. Uh, the good thing about the the one good thing about bubbles is that uh, they give you the nice iframes that you have been hit, and um, you can use that to escape a little bit of damage every once in a while. That is their one redeeming quality as enemies in a Zelda game, at least this one. Other Zelda games, as far as I know, having only played uh, two other ones. Uh, they just do damage to you, in a general way. And I think maybe the red bubbles set you on fire uh, in Ocarina and, and stuff. But I, I quite honestly, I forget. It's been too long. Okay, we murdered the Dark Nut which was great. He, for some reason, did not feel like turning around. And we got the Gibdo as well. Okay, that's great. Uh, did we bomb this wall? Let's do it. We got 12 of them. Fuck it. Okay. I think this next room is full of uh, Dark Nuts again. It is. Okay, but we can stay down here and um, and snipe them, snipe them with the sword. Dark Nuts take no damage from literally anything except the sword. Uh, but we also, again, have to contend. I guess we could maybe skirt around them and see what this other door goes to. In fact, we'll do that and pray to God that we don't have to fight. Okay, this is the manhandler room. Okay. I think I may have killed it. In either case, we're gonna really quickly attempt to drink a potion. I didn't kill it. I must have blocked something. But we will probably lose a heart off the bat. Oh wait, can we? Okay, we got the map. Christ don't like. All right. Progress has been made, everyone. We made progress. We did it. Let's try and bomb a couple walls in here. Uh, so we are... Um, in the head of 
lion, I think, is this one. Uh, right and left of us should be nothing. Up will be something. So we're gonna try them anyway. Sometimes there's something in the eye. There is here. Um, I'm guessing it's just gonna be a rupee room. It most most often is when it's a secret room like this. It looks like it. But you know what? Rupees as arrows will take them. Let's um, because this is a peaceful room. Let's just see if we can open up any other secrets. Okay, no other, like, secret ways in. I shouldn't have done the boss side, because, of course, there's not going to be anything in the boss room. But the point? We can go up from here. There's a Goma. Another Goma. And a Goma with a million goddamn turrets, so. Oops. Okay, we can kind of cheese this Goma, though, thankfully. Not kind of, we can definitely cheese this one. And we're just going to. Quite frankly. You'd be dumb not to- okay, this is fantastic, what has just occurred. Um... Not sure what's in this room. Okay. Bull's voice and nuts. But we can handily handle these dark nuts. Okay. We killed one and then I did a goof. But that's fine. You will still be dead. In fact, we lost one of the pull's voice and it turned into another nut, which is fine. Pull's voice is dead. Nut's dead. We could probably do a little bit of maneuvering in here. Yeah, we definitely can now. Alright. Fantastical. Uh, we can try bombing some of these. Uh, we won't bomb the far wall, but we will bomb this one and the one above. I did- I got them all. They're all dead. All of them are dead. For now. Until they come back. I don't know if this is going to be a passage? Or another treasure? Okay, this is the boss key. The first of the boss keys that we have ever found in this game. Great boomerang work there. And we've got the boss key. So we're doing great. Uh, or I'm sorry, you know what, in this, I call it the boss key. It's just a skeleton key. I don't think you need any more small keys once you get that in this. Yeah, that says A next to our key thing, which I assume means that you are keyed up for the rest of the game. We're just gonna try and maneuver. Flinch, you fool. Alright. Alright, this is great. We're doing great. Okay, we're gonna try and bond the left and the right walls here. Uh, nope, nothing there, but we can attempt to bomb that wall. Since there was a, a thing over here, it kind of made sense. We're going to try and shoot these pulls voice. The key is the other item that was missing that I was asking about a while ago. Look at that. Kills four days. Okay. We will attempt to bomb both walls in here. All right. Progress is occurring. We're doing great. Everything is going fantastically. Okay. So we are now clear on this side of the lion. Um, we now need to make our way uh, through the eye. We will go uh, this way and then down. 
I believe, will take us through this room. Um, is this the room with the nuts? Okay, we are going to have to kill uh, all these dark nuts, but we can, beautifully, at this point, cheese the crap out of them. Okay, we can't now. Because <laughs> uh, old Tear screwed it up and keeps dying. Alright, we're going back to the um, everyone's favorite uh, strategy of just sitting in a doorway until we can uh, leap out and stab one. Hopefully. Hopefully they all make this one easy for me. Yep, that's pretty much my reaction too, buddy. I can't, well I can just walk down and out, but all the other rooms are locked, so I have to go, um, I have to go, unless there is a bombable wall to the left, I have to go through the... Wait. Do I have to go through that door? I don't think there's any other doors down here. We can look. I think there's the only way through. There must... Maybe that is a bombable wall. Oh, can we go through here? Oh, fuck. Alright, well... Fighting Knuckles for no... Oh, no, wait. Never mind. This is just the... Okay. Okay. I think there's no other way through unless there's a door down here that I, I've forgotten about. Which is possible. It could be bombable, yeah. Could very well be. I think that that's just a dead end over there, though. Yeah. They didn't drop anything, really, except for the stopwatch. So maybe what we can do is we can try and rush the bombable wall in the uh, nut room and not have to fight them all. Maybe. We'll just try it. I don't know. Okay. We can also get shot a couple of times as well. Okay, it's not turns out. So I, um... I'm a bit lost, frankly. Oh, no, we have to go through it because the... the the uh, staircase to the level we or the parts we can't get to is in the door that's closed right now. So we do have to kill all these dark knots. Uh, well, at least we hit something with the bomb. We do have another potion if things get dire, so that's good. Really frustrating. This this is just just really a frustrating uh, level. But we're gonna get through it. You know, we always get through it. We've never we've never not gotten through it. So we'll just um, just keep chugging. That was an incredible dodge. Okay. I'm getting a little bit more ballsy, I guess, which is helpful because I have more opportunities to hit stuff. Except when something like that happens. Though, to be fair, I was taking about that much damage doing it the other way anyway, so... What does it matter? We're down to four. We've gotten two down, we've got four left. Um, I was thinking about going after him, and I didn't. I feel like I should have. But we'll just keep at it. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep going. They're tempting me, as you can see. We may have to just keep playing more and more conservatively. Uh, so far, things are not going super hot. It'd be great to get another fairy off of one of these, but so far, it seems like that's gonna be a, a fat no.
Not knowing when exactly to uh, swing the sword hurts it a bit as well. I don't have that kind of muscle memory with this game where it's like I can... To hit this guy three blocks away, moving away from me, I need to hold up for 1.5 seconds and then swing. I don't have that in me yet. But that's helpful. Okay, we've got an extra hit in us. That's handy. Okay, good thing we we got that heart. That was a freebie. That was a good hit. Okay, that was just a bad move. I was expecting him to go back up, and he did not. So, we'll, um, we'll try it again from another... I think, so I think that the way the Dark Nut AI works is that they do know, like, when you are hittable or near them, they will come towards you, it seems like. Maybe that's just, maybe that's just the way it feels, but it does seem like they home in on you to some degree. So trying to hit them, or like attack them from behind, there's it's a bit of a gambit because they do almost, almost exclusively when I go to attack them, they turn around like that. Okay, another one down. That's great. Two to go. We do have the potion. We will burn the potion. If we must. Um, the main issue is going to be... So... With every other room explored in this dungeon, I'm gonna say that we die one more time before we get to the end. Probably. So, we've gotta get through this door to the right. Uh, we have to fight a room, a mixed room, uh, one of the, the, um, smorgasbord rooms, which are, um, um, I think it was Bubbles, uh, a Gibdo or Pole's voice, and a couple of uh, red nuts and a couple of blue nuts. I think. I think. It's definitely uh, a, a couple of reds, a blue, and uh, the bubbles for sure. Okay, another one down. I want my rupee. Yeah, they do hit me with a knot today. Oh, fuck off. Alright, we are in a kind of dire straits. We'll take one more hit before we potion up. The next room is also garbage because the door locks behind you, and there is no other door. So you are pushed out into the middle of the room, which makes this tactic totally not viable. Um, okay, we are definitely going to bust the potion now. I thought we had a... Uh, no, we did use the other one, so that's fine. Can we use it here? We have to step out. <clears throat> Hopefully this means we can blast this fellow and get a couple of blasts off in the next room. We're still going to play it kind of real close to the chest, but we can step out and get some shots off at least. Well, we took a quarter of a hit from one of the turrets. Okay, that was a good dodge. And another one. Alright, fuck off, man. Alright, well, we got our heart back, which is handy. Okay, this is the shitty room. Okay. We didn't manage to do much. So it's all Gibdos and... and and, um, that was handy. Oh my god, that was really good. We can tangle with one blue nut, for sure. 
Okay. We got him. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright, we're gonna bomb the up and the down. Probably should have saved the bomb for after I did this, but whatever. Just to be sure. Okay, there's nothing. We're through the shitty gauntlet here, and we are now... Just taking keys damage. That was a good double, though. Pretty good dubs. Um, okay, where do we come up? Uh, okay, so we're missing, um... One, two, three, we're missing four or five rooms. So we're missing, a, like, a clot of four and then one north of that. Okay, so we're here. We have a lot of Bull's voice, which means it's arrow time. Lots of rupees. We're gonna pick this key up. We don't need it, I don't think, anymore, but we're gonna try it anyway. Um, we did try and bomb the door next to us, or the wall next to us. We tried to bomb the wall below us. We can try and bomb this one, because we haven't been here yet. I want to point out on this, this item menu, you can only use left and right. So you have to track all the way left and right, and sometimes I forget. Look at that. So this will get us up a room. Let's take a look and see what's in there, because we can always go back through an exploded room. Okay, that's the boss, obviously, because the Triforce is in the next room, but that's good to know. The boss looks like it is a, um, uh, what was that, what was the name of that guy? Not Aquamentus. Um, Aquamentus is the dragon that's the one head. I forget what the multi-head dragon is. Okay. Great. Turrets and nuts. bit of a melee, but we we got there. Gleok, thank you, Serena. Appreciate that. Okay, we're gonna bomb down and up. Or not down and up, but down and this way. Just why not, you know, at this point. Old Gleok. Okay, this is the old man. Tenth enemy has the bomb. Okay, and now this reminds me that the tenth enemy you kill will always drop a bomb. Supposedly. Which is nice! Ugh. Um, let us attempt to bomb left and right. Because we've got the bombs out, and we've got six of them. Unless the boss... Oh shit! That will actually get us into the boss room as well. So we now have two, uh, sneaky, snaky exits. Um... We will attempt to use magic. I don't think magic does anything against Gliok. It do not. Uh, boomerang useless. Bow could be useful. It could be a mega mistake, what I'm doing here. Really not attempting to get hit so goddamn much. Okay, that's again the second Gleok fight we've had that almost ended in tragedy, but we did it. And we got a heart container for our trouble. And look at that. That's the last piece of the Trice Force, everyone. I predicted one more death in this dungeon, and we did not have it.
That's it. That's that's level eight. Let's get Screw all these guys. Going right to the edge, yep, that's me. Look at that triforce, everyone. Completed. Completed that triforce, baby. Didn't you, buddy? 300 bits. What a lad. What a true lad. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. Everyone, thank you for sticking with me on that level. I was, um... It was getting me. I was salty. I, I apologize for the salt. But man, it was so frustrating with the amount of uh, nuts in there. Just so many. And just... The configurations were, were just crushing me. But we got there, guys. We got there. So, um... At this point, I think that there is a heart container that we missed somewhere. Um, unless there is one somewhere in... Uh, oh, you get Salty and Celasta? Well, there you go. That's all the reason to watch, really. Watch didn't get Salty. Salty week of streams. I guess there was a little bit of salt in Resident Evil, wasn't there? With some of the the end boss stuff. Monday is gonna be a roller coaster for me. Yeah, it is. That's good. Monday's a roller coaster anyway, though, isn't it? Hey, fuck off, mate. Um, okay, so we've got some bombs. We could use another... Mork was salty. You were fine, Serena. I'm just... I'm just... It, was, it wasn't bad. It was nothing like me. No, so this is the... So, the the Triforce in this game is the Triforce of Wisdom, just the one of the Triforce. Uh, Zelda broke it up so that Ganon couldn't get to it. So, we are just on, on the one Triforce here today. The other three are somewhere. Someone peed on the Triforce of Wisdom? Wait, like, Wisdom? Okay, <laughs> like, whiz, whiz robes. I get it. okay. Alright. Oh, just so that we're all on the same page, I get it. At this point, I think we're just gonna continue on to 9. Um... I'd, we could find the other, the other, um, the other, uh, the missing heart container, but at this point, whatever, kind of. Oh yeah, the pea hat as well. Yeah, why is there there's so much urine in Zelda? What's up with that? Feels a bit weird. It might be a, a swell idea. Actually, there's a potion seller at the bottom of the mountain tonight. The OG cart was gold. That is correct. Uh, actually, a lot of Zelda carts are gold when you think about it. So, I think we're just learning something about Nintendo, everyone. Did you not get a gold card, dude? For your Zelda? Oh, for Ocarina. Uh, my Ocarina cart was gray. Is gray. I still have it. It was probably one of those, like, pre-order bonuses or whatever they are. Or were at the time. Whatever they call them. This is the cheap shield up here, which is good. To oh, the NES cart? Oh, I thought you said Ocarina. My bad.
I am Majora. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm just getting you guys confused again. Sorry, everyone's purple now. I guess I could be looking at the badges, because now the badges are different. My B, my B. Um, so yes, correct. I also had the um, gold, uh, the lovely gold uh, Majora's Mask card, and because I was a member of the Nintendo fan club at the time, they sent me the holographic sticker for the front of it that you only got if you pre-ordered it, I believe. So I have a holographic, like, collector's edition, but DIY version. And then, years later, I, um, purchased the, uh, shirt that you could get at a thrift store. And it is now, at this point in time, it is pretty ragged. Buddy's dad knew. Man, that's a <laughs> that is a procession, a line of a uh, of a uh, of a uh, ownership. Oh wow, sealed. That's pretty cool. Why did he have a sealed version? Is it one of those cursed ones, like we like with the in the copy pastas on the internet, where it's like. It's like, it's like, there's like a ghost in it or something. It's long? Okay. Hawaii. Oh, that's kind of cool, Job. I seem to have gone slightly the wrong direction. Is one of these bombable, I wonder? You got 12 of them, might as well. away. You can tell things are going wrong because um, I'm not using... I've been fighting Knuckles, er, Knuckles. I've been fighting um, the other things. The the uh, Dark Nuts for so long because I'm not using my uh, boomerang anymore. Nuts! Sonic is Sega? You're right. You know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. Sega! Which, like, which one you bought that on your own, Serena, for the first time? That's pretty cool. Oh, like, yeah, like, which one was, um, not, like, a hand-me-down or, like, a, a second-hand one? I guess mine was Majora's Mask, which is also the first, uh, Zelda game I ever played. Oh, god. Wrong color. Final Fantasy, that sounds awful. Where the fuck is this place? Is it here? No, I came down here, yeah? Yeah, I came down here. Is it over here? Ah, uh, yes, Rina. Yeah, mine was definitely Majora's Mask. I guess it was a gift, so maybe that doesn't count. I think I bought Ocarina with my own money, though. Even though it was secondhand. I'm glad I did, though, because I got the the... The good, uh, the good edition with the good Fire Temple music. Not that I knew anything about that at the time, but now, like, I, I can't go back. There we go. Yeah, Twilight Princess. I think that counts for sure. You bastard lever. I 
we're gonna clear all these fellers out. That last frame? It does kind of look like that, Den. I was thinking it has an interesting shape as well. It is definitely... I wonder if you, like... Could you, like, map it and then play it? What would it play? What song would it be? It would just be the Legend of Zelda theme. Here we are, guys. Listen to the sweet music for Pinnacle Rock. Er, Pinnacle. Spectacle Rock. Link to the Past. I'm excited to get to Link to the Past. Um... I'm gonna take a really quick break now that we are here in Spectacle Rock. Uh, I just get up and stretch me, me legs a little bit. Sold all your old games. That sucks. Ocarina of Time 3DS. Damn, Mark. The first one I bought personally, I think it must have been Ocarina. I think I got that at a Bookman's, which is a, like a local... Like one of those independent local secondhand media stores. Um, but they were good. You were supposed to buy games? Oh yeah, fair enough. And it's interesting because I've been, like, I, I've watched a lot of um, Ashen's channel on YouTube when he does, like, the unboxing and stuff, but he's from England, and I guess, like, the NES and stuff were not big over there, um, but, like, all those old computers like Famic or Famicom, like, the MSX and Commodore 64 and everything were all on, like, um, cassette discs and, or cassette tapes, rather, and, um, a lot of sharing of those those tapes, which is interesting. I was counting them. Yep. Anyway, I'm gonna take my break. I'm just, I'm just gonna shoot the shit with chat for about 40 minutes. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, feel free to keep chatting. I will return in just a few minutes. Um, have a have a good time. I'll be right back. Bye, bye. We're gonna we're gonna pause this music and you can listen to the the good music. Okay, here we go. Bye. Hello, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Alien Wolfenstein. It wasn't the Chex game? Chex whatever? What was that? Chex Wolfenstein ripoff? Chex Commando? What was that called? Are you sure? I'm just, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just teasing. Um, alright. Let's go back to the game. It went a little bit quiet there. Alright. Checks a God Slayer. Sure. Checks Quest, I think it was, actually. I think it came in boxes of checks, and it was just... Just a... Uh, I never played it. I never actually played any of those... Uh, it games, to be fair. Alright, look into this. We got an old man already. Oh, there is no old man. I feel like we missed something here. Not sure what. I meant to go get, um, shit. Hold up. I just realized we gotta go back out. Which is fine. Um, but we, because we need, um, really badly to get, uh, oh, fuck off. Really badly to get, um, um, a potion. And I think there's a potion seller back here. Yes, thank you. Potion setup. The Oregon Trail is fun. I played it. Um, I played it not too too long ago. I played the original, which I never played. Um. Oh Christ! Pilot Mike X, thank you for the follow. Be safe in those planes, or helicopters, or whatever it is you fly. Yo, Noid, nice. 
Oh, cool spot. What about Pepsi Man? At this point, I am laboring under the notion that I will gain a heart by doing this. And in fact, it has just gotten hurt hurt me more, really. So we're not going to jump right back into the dungeon, shockingly. We are going to go try and find some more hearts. Um, we're not going to mess with the P-Hats, even though we have learned that we can kill them, which is uh, all new to me. But was a cool realization nonetheless. Alright, buddy. Uh, they are Lynels, yes, Mal. Yes, they are. They're uh, quite adorable in um, this game, and uh, horrifying and, and terrible in. Um, Breath of the Wild. Uh, one of my least favorite enemies in Breath of the Wild. They're in terms of fighting them. God, I I hate fighting them. I was excited about them being in Breath of the Wild too, and then I had to fight them, and then I was no longer uh, as excited about it. Yeah, I I had I had I had no video games up until the point I was um probably 11 or 12, I think. Um and then my grandparents well, no, that's that's not 100% true. I I did play some vague PC games. I played a little bit of Civilization 2 because my cousin had it, and um, I played a little bit of probably Age of Empires 2 at that point because my cousin, another cousin, had it. But I live very far away from all of my extended family like that, so I played them like once uh, in my life. Basically. Um... Oh, fuck! You bastard. I don't need bombs. Uh, and then, um, I didn't play a console game. Um, actually, that was kind of it. I didn't, I didn't play games until I got, um... Or until we got, my brother and I, of course, got our N64. Uh, from our grandparents. Yes, thank you. Very pleased. Come here. Ma'am? 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 Oh my god. Ma'am? Thank you. And then, uh, it was all- it's all been all downhill from there. DOS Tutor. Oh, you know what? That's also a good point. I did have a, um... A Packard Bell that used to belong to my parents, and my grandfather uh, made me a floppy disk of a bunch of um, a bunch of um, really solid uh, DOS games. Um, there was the California Raisins game on there, uh, the DOS game, which I I didn't wasn't very good at. There was one where you had to um, drive a like a forklift or a a loader and like load things onto the back of the truck. There was an early John Carmack game um, called F Secret of the Pharaoh or or something. You played like an adventurer in like a little maze and you had to dodge snakes and pick up diamonds. Um, a lot of games like that. They were pretty good. I enjoyed them. Had a good time playing them. I I. I may- I wish I still had the floppy, but at one point my parents got rid of both of our- My brother had like an old Mac that was like a hand-me-down as well. Uh, great, my other fucking hated enemy. 
Um, and then our parents, like, in the, the, well, while my brother and I were off at our grandparents or something to spend the night, our parents clandestinely got rid of all of our computers and everything, so. I think they were upset about the time we were spending on them, or something that effect. They never said. But it, it wasn't a lot, because we weren't really allowed to, but... Loadrunner? Uh, Loadrunner sounds familiar. Was Loadrunner the game where you're like the red and blue guy jumping around on like microchips and stuff? Was that Loadrunner? Oh, this is good. I like this room. Yeah, I had- so I also- when I did finally get another computer, ages later, uh, I had a- a disc called the world's largest collection of PC software, and it was one of those, like, super, um, like, there was, like, three billion pieces of software, just, like, weird things and strange, like, I don't know what the software was, but I had, like, there was a ton of games as well on there, and, uh, I played so many games on there, and Load Runner was one of them. Uh, hello? Owned. Yeah, I have I have very specific memories of Load Runner. In fact, I had forgotten it, interestingly enough, until semi recently when I saw Vine Sauce playing uh, one of those big packs of games, and Load Runner was on there, and I was like, "Oh crap, Load Runner!" I remember that, and all the sound effects and everything very vividly. Wow, we were just three for three for bombs there. That is beautiful. Yeah, Sphina. It is... Oh, fuck. Nope. That's the Wizrobe room, right? Uh, we should probably go down and see what's in the treasure room, or if it is indeed... Oh, god. More Wizrobes. Great. So we went from nuts to Wizrobes. God damn it. Alright, let's just go down here. Is this a passage? Okay, this is actually a passage. Let's, uh at least pop up in the next room and see what the next room is. Oh, Christ, no. Man, that's pretty true, Serena. That's all right. It's all right, you're fine. Um, Yeah, it's, it's very interesting, um... Oh, this was the Wizard room again. Um, it's interesting how many games were on that, that thing. There was, like, a crazy pool game. Um, I never really learned how to play it, but the most fun part of it was you could take the pool stick and, like, drag it way back and just, like, blast the balls across the table, and that was fun. That's all I ever did with that game. Fuck this fucking temple. Um, and there's, like, some old, like, um, some sort of, like, role-playing kind of games where you were just, like, a sprite, and you would walk up to things, and, and you would have to hit them with whatever. Oh, fuck this game. So the thing about the blue whiz robes is, is that this strategy will work, but they will also come down into your goddamn doorway as this one is now doing. I did take a hit there, which sucks. That's it? Nothing? Okay. Fairy, yes. We did get a fairy, which is pretty good. We're gonna need all the help we can get in, uh, Dungeon 9. That sounds like a familiar thing as well. I had those, um... Yeah, Jeb, I do go back and check those out every once in a while. I, um... Um... I have a lot of memory of, like, cereal box games. I played some old, like, Captain Crunch game. 
I played, um... So there was also this other PC game I had. Um, where you... Um... Uh, where you, uh, drove, like, weird future cars. I only vaguely remember it, uh, but it had FMV sequences. It was kind of like a combat car racing game. There was a... The only thing I remember about it was, um, and I looked it up years ago to try and remember what it was, and, and I I was able to find it, and I forget what it is, but the uh, announcer guy's name was Lance Boyle. That's the only thing I remember about it. Carmageddon? It might have been. It was something similar to that concept, if nothing else. Yeah, Lance Boyle. It was a funny name. He was kind of like a Max Headroom sort of character. I had fond memories of that, although I was absolute trash at it. Actually, I don't think it was Carmageddon. But it was it was something, it was similar in concept, like I said. I'm a bit worried that I'm not prepared to do this. Donjon. Fuck you, Wizrobe. Leave me alone. Mega Race, that's it. Bingo. I remember it now. I remember it well. It was, uh, it was an interesting game. It was very, very difficult. Uh, or at least it was for Babby... Babby Tear. Babby Tear was not... okay. Babby Tear was not good at video games. Babby Tear was a big video game cheater. And, um... Oh, you know what? Uh, Mal, I, I think I saw Vine Sauce play that as well. It was very grungy, very 90s. I forget the name of it, but yeah. I think, uh, I think I've seen that game. And just, like, really weird, sort of... I don't know if it was licensed music, but it was very, like, grunge 90s... ...stuff. Oh, you know what? I think that the dungeon is locked until you have a certain amount of parts or, or items or something. These assholes. These asshole wizards. Grand Taxi Runner. That sounds about right. Ass robes. Yeah, yeah, ass robes indeed. Okay, well, where are we? Okay, we need to we need to push through this whiz robe room. This is being a, a huge pain. This room is is just where we need to be right now. Okay, I um was totally ignoring the bubbles in there. It did not work out. I thought maybe I could just like blast in and murder all the Wizrobes, but the bubbles did see to that. Combining the bubbles in this game with any other enemy is is torture, I think is how I would put it. And I don't think that I'm being too uh, rude about that. These Wizrobes camping my doorway, I swear to god. Fuck. Interstate 76. I don't know that one.
They're very frustrating to fight. I guess I don't really have to. I guess I could just sneak around them. Oh, my nose is suddenly very tickly. back to them. Great. It's what I always wanted. Um okay, let's uh let's take a quick move out of the dungeon. Um unfortunately but, well, we wasted a bomb. Very unfortunate. And we got four of them back there. And Titan Quest is a good game. If you like a if you like a Diablo kind of game, Titan Quest is good. I was playing through that with my brother not too long ago. We never did finish it, but it was good. Well, we finished the main game, but we didn't finish the DLC or whatever. Solid game. I'd like to go back and finish it, and we probably will eventually, but... Life and shit. Yeah. I'm a sucker for mythology, so it was good. Good times. Um, we're gonna try and get some extra bombs, some extra roops, and some extra hearts. Basically, the thought is just farm up. I am super. Well, I'm not super opposed, I should say, but I will. I'm attempting not to. Um, take too much advantage of the, the, uh, we did it once or twice, but yeah. I'd like to try and get as vanilla an experience, even if it is frustrating. As possible. But yes, thank you, I appreciate that. I will, um... If it, if it comes down to it, I will probably do it. If this just becomes another stream, it just becomes another stream. Oh, I see. Well, that's fair. Oh my god, please punch the Octorok. No, I appreciate that. I hadn't thought of using it in that way. The resupplying is probably the least fun thing to watch, to be fair, so. We may, um, we may do that. When we get back up to the dungeon, we may just plop a save point there and see how far we can get. I thought I was in a different place. I thought I was somewhere else. Oh, I know this. I know. You're good. That's what I meant. Yeah. Mentally and spiritually. I feel like I'm floating away from my body. Come here. Quit running away. Bard's Tale. Games were really unforgiving back in the day.
Ghosts and Goblins, yeah, that's a classic one. I played a little bit of that on this emulator. On the Switch emulator, and man, that game kicked my ass. I could probably get further had I have I like sit down and actually play it, but good lord. That is a game. That is a game that does not does not pull any punch. No punches pulled in old, uh, old, uh, old, um, whatever the hell we're talking about. Go ghouls and goblins, ghosts and goblins, ghouls and ghosts, ghosts, ghosts and ghosts, Some something like that. Oh, great. Oh my god. Well, hopefully we find a heart. Or a fairy. Hopefully we find another heart now. Yeah. Ah. Run, 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 run. Okay, we're gonna head back towards the dungeon. Um, not getting stuck, hopefully, on the way. Uh, we have a potion, I believe? Yes? Okay. I think we're all ready. It would be nice to have a few more bombs, but... What you gonna do? You? Take a heart. We're not in the right spot. Yeah, I the remake really turned me off with the style of the art though. It was neat that they made a remake, but the art style just looked like sort of bad Flash game to me, so... I was not into it. Which I guess is a shame, but... Not that I- I mean, like, I, I talk like I'm some sort of... Ghouls and Ghosts aficionado, but... I was kind of excited about it, and then I was like, oh, that's ugly. That game is ugly. Okay, we're heading back into the dungeon. Oh my god, for fuck's sake, here, what are you doing with your life? One, one hit. Okay, a lady. Oh, perfect. Okay. I am a judgy person. When it comes to art, Art styles, I should say. I'm a judgy person. When it comes to art, whatever. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go. So please bear with me as we try to shoot a whiz robe. Okay, it's already gone in instantly wrong. And the fucking bubbles, right, of course. The bu fucking bubbles, of course, right. Bubbles, okay, great. It's, it's going great. We brute forced our way through it, which is not ideal, but we fucking did it. Alright. This is another room full of bullshit. There's at least only one bubble in this one. Uh, 
Ugh. No, I knew what that room looked like. I wasn't worried. I should have gone for the potion. I didn't. But I was also stuck in the... doorway with a blue wizard robe just sitting on me, so... Good shit. Good shit. Good shit and good times. Alright, so, well, we didn't get anything... Okay, these guys stayed dead. I forget when you're in a dungeon, things do tend to stay a little bit dead. Maybe we'll use some bombs. I don't know. This is almost as frustrating as the nut. Wiz robes and and are actually I would rather fight the 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 dark nuts than the wiz robes. Yeah, I would rather in a million cases. I killed that wizard too, but I attacked him from the bottom, which was a classic mistake. The wizards are just the worst. They're just the worst. They're they're just the worst. The orange ones are not bad, but the blue ones are a absolute pain. We're just gonna keep throwing ourselves at it until we make a progress or whatever. Okay, well, he just had a hate boner for me. Uh, he was wearing green previously, Mal, but we got the power ring, or whatever the ring is, that gives you... It has the damage that you take, basically. Yeah, totally, Joe. So we are taking half damage. Imagine if we did not have that ring. Imagine, if you will, a world in which everything more or less one-shots you. Alright, fuck you. I think we got both of them. Do not push me into... Okay, well, time to go get another shield. Because, uh, oh yeah, right. Of course, the thing about not having the shield is is that you can no longer block the wizard robe shots, which is the one saving grace that you have against wizard robes. So, there you go. Time to buy another shield. Luckily, we know where a cheap shield is. That's helpful. I'm gonna hand over the lighter trick. I just do that without a ring, man. Oh my god, fairies galore. Hey, Sai, what's up? What's going on? Okay, I threw a boomerang at Azora. That was pretty good. Um, I'm going vaguely the wrong way. Not vaguely, entirely. Oh god, run. Okay, here's where the cheap shield is at. Well, one of them. There's several, but this is the closest one. We're just gonna eat pea hat, whatever. What if skis? I mean, I could also buy a bunch of hearts here, but fuck that. I need arrow money. Arrows ain't cheap, baby. You're gross, Job. How dare you? How dare you assume? Don't blow up poor Job. He's... The storekeeper? No, I think Link is saying that. I, I I don't know, because it's actually a fair question. I always assumed it was Link saying it, but um, at the other shops, the text is, Boy this, or, uh, Buy something, will ya? So, uh, read into that however you'd like. I like how the levers still uh, appear in and out of the sand, 
even though they are st stunned by the uh, stopwatch. Okay, push on. So it's it's weird then that the shopkeeper is like, man, I am screwing you with these prices. Look at these crazy price. Are you stupid, kid? Okay. Now we do have to fight all these whiz robes again. Um, but we we do got the potions. We can we can pop a potion if we need to. Let's reset this room. Give those potions. I guess we don't have to fight them. They didn't drop anything. The, the only benefit Oh for fuck's sake, bubbles. The only benefit we got was not having to deal with them. Not. Do not. Okay, we <laughs> we lived, we lived, we did it. All right, we are <laughs> about to die, so we're gonna pop that potion. I was too angry to even think. Um, I wasn't actually that angry. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I wasn't that mad. Okay, there ain't nothing in these. We're gonna have a bit of the potion, though. Dude, you don't know me, man. You don't know how mad I was, dude. The bubbles... The bubbles do suck, but you gotta... There's like... There's like a balance between aggression and, um... Sort of defensiveness that you have to take in this game. Like, that was really good. That was not so good. But that worked out. Look at this fucking broke fool. Look at you, you're gonna get killed and you're not gonna do anything about it. Eh. Fucker. Yeah, he just comes in here to bust my balls, doesn't he? He hears the beeping and he's like, Oh! That's my cue! I'm the fuck with Den. Or Den. I'm the fuck with Tear. Look at this. Look at me dismantle these whiz robes. That feels good, huh? Fuck you guys. You know what, Den? And I appreciate it, man. I got no ill will against the ball bust thing. I just come, yeah, I just come into my own streams to slam myself. It's true. He's got a point, you know. Why, okay, I almost walked into a, a like like there, which would have been really funny uh, in, in hindsight. Alright, we got one hit on a whiz robe. Two hits on two whiz robes. Don't come into my doorway. Two hits on w one whiz robe. Okay, one of the. Oh shit, walked out of the room. Okay, we're gonna have to start it again. But we. We've gotten, um, we've gotten two whiz robes down. Okay. We, that was ballsy. That was a little too ballsy. Okay. 
Oh no. No, oh, do not. Okay, we killed it. <laughs> got the got the shield. Got the shield. Held on to the shield. Unless that is just like a, a thing that happens when you when you only get because of the half damage thing, when you only get eight once, perhaps. My Western Canadian accent? I don't know. They all have they all sound the same. Actually, Western Canadians do kind of have no accent, in my experience. Vancouver is Western, but they just sound like Oh fuck this room. Fuck me. What is this shit? Did I kill these guys before? people in Canada do say ooh. I, well, they have no accent. Uh, when I say they have no accent, I mean in terms of Canadians. Yeah, as they have the Canadian accent, but they don't have, like, a specific, like, the Quebecois have their own weirdness. Which is neither French nor English. They're just sort of a, a, a strange nothing. Do not stand on me! Ugh. You're dead. You're dead, buddy. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, I think we killed all of them previously anyway, so... I guess I, I could have, um... I could have taken... Uh, a potion there. But did not think about it. But you know what? It's fine. Um... The good news about everything is that, um, so far, we are, um, kicking a lot of ass here. Um, I think this is gonna be the, the wizards, wizards again? Okay, they are back, though, and in greater numbers. Or at least it feels that way, but... Pretty sure we cleared this room previously. Um, and that's fine. Oh yeah, people from Newfoundland definitely have accents. Alright, let's have fun with this fella. It was a bit of a pushover. So I'm pretty sure at this point we've explored everything there is to explore on this side of the thing. We'll just go through. I don't think that those uh, whiz robes dropped anything last time. I'm almost positive they did not, in fact. So we're not even going to mess with them. We're going to continue on. Uh, this is the like-like room. Once you get the the boomerang on him, you're in a pretty decent spot. I sort of was a little bit slow there. Uh, that's fair enough. Canada is a weird and unknowable place. you're better off. The less you know, the better about Canada. That's the way I see it. Look at these fellas! I love these guys! Alright, we, we, can, we can handle some of these fellas. Oh, look! I killed them in one hit now, and they don't drop the bats. Well, that's even better. And freaking tastic Alright, for Jub. Jub, are you watching? There you go, buddy. That was just for you. I mean, that is a pretty um, accurate descriptor of Canada. Corner gas. I'm 
Ninja. Oh, look at that. Look at there. Toronto. Yeah, pretty much. Toronto might as well be part of America. Well, we've got Babizels, which is nice, because they are almost totally useless. Got a lot of locked doors, which is something. We'll have to uh, return through here, I think, because I wanted to check out... Uh, wait, we came from up, yeah? Okay, I wanted to check down here. I wanted to check down here! Ooh, that was like a triple. We're not going to find a thing below, but we'll check left and right. Bingo. Alright. Goody, goody. Okay, we'll keep going that way in a moment, but there was also another room up here to check. I do have the skelly key, yeah. I knows, I knows. But I think there's an, a nova door in here we can check. Check real quick. This could be a dead end room. Oh no, it's another bloody whiz robe room. The good news about the whiz robes is that once you figure out the blue ones, at least, is that once you figure out which way they're facing, they become a bit less of a threat because uh, they can only shoot in one direction. Um, so there are times when you can just get out there and uh, bust them. Or you can find places where you're like this. Where you're standing on uh, some sort of uh, doodle bopper. And as long as they don't teleport onto you like the one did, you're good. There is, Mal, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Lots of, um. a whole lot of wizen going on in old Zelda. Uh, we can check up and. Uh, we can check up and down. Let's check up and down. Up may be a little too high, but we'll check it regardless. Okay. And, uh, oh, do 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 Alright, we got one. We got one. do 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 as I like to say. Not a Zelda sound. Not attempting to be a Zelda sound. Just a, a sound that I like. We may have to arrow these fellows. I like how the uh, bubbles are trapped uselessly. Actually, everything's kind of trapped uselessly, except for old Linky here. I think fighting Wizrobes, period, is a bad idea. If you could just, like, not be around Wizrobes at all, that would be an ideal thing. Oh my god, did someone just get banned? Oh my god! Um... Let me go down here. Okay, I blew up. I blew up. You know what, that's fine. Um, should I...? That's fair. Um... I'm curious if I want to step out and get more stuff. No, because I don't want to fight everything again. I still have a potion. I should have I should have popped it that time, but honestly, um, I think that we can just blitz that room. There's nothing else in these early rooms. So I think... As long as we um, keep moving. We should be alright. Where in the world are I going, though? For real. Wait, is it the center room? Shit, I fucked up. 
I may have fucked slightly up. I don't know if I got it this time. I went the complete wrong way there. It's alright. Okay. We're gonna go, uh, up. And then, uh, right. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay, this is it. This way we don't have to fight any wizards. Oh. What's up, Jub? What you got shifty eyes for? What are you looking at? What are you shifty in for? Oh my goodness. No! Oh, oh well. Oh, we, we saved it. Uh, oh. Alright, well, congratulations, Jub, on having your entire message history deleted, buddy. Still works, after all these years. Congratulations? Okay, well, we, we realize that there's nothing in this room, so we're just going to attempt to get out of it as quick as we can. Oh, look at this fellow. This is, uh, horrible, because I have no ranged capabilities. Aside from my bow. Okay, we're dead. That is the path he chose. No tier bot, you're right. I, uh, completely forgot about that. Well, oh well. You guys know all the details. He's dead. He's having a nap. He took the day off. Why is Din's text dark gray right now? What is that? What is this? What is... The Discord mobile app makes me want to throw up. It just... just that one message. I don't know why. Uh, like... Alright, hold on. I'll turn the bot back on. Since y'all miss him. Here we go. Check it out. Here we go. We're gonna bring the bot back. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for the bot. Are you ready for the bot? Get ready for the bot. Get ready for the bot. Any, any minute now. I'm not ready either. I don't... I don't actually know what I'm doing. Uh, to be totally fair with. Right now. Hold on. No, 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 we're gonna do it. We're already on it. We might as well do it. No, no, no. No, no, no. We have to do it. Like I'm too I'm in too deep now. It's alright, we're gonna have another stream of this anyway, it looks like. Probably. Oh, I don't know. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. What do, what do I even what am I doing? Fuck it. Fuck the game, fuck everything, really. It's too much work, and I just it's whatever. Alright, I would love for a like like to drop like some kind of health health item. Okay. Well, we've got a Wizrobe room that we may not survive. 
Now Mal is in dark gray. Cool. That's neat. Let's go down here. What's down here? Something neat, maybe? Nothing. Okay. What was in this room? This was the... These fellas. Oh no, it's more wizard robes. Okay, fantastic. Well, dang. I died. What are you gonna do about that? Not really a lot you can do about it. We'll just, um, hit it again. That's what we'll do. I suppose technically at this point, there's this kind of... is, uh, what's funny to think about. At this point, we can kind of, um... We can kind of just come in here with full health. Oh, for shit's sake. Well, there goes the shield. Alright, we're gonna go get some health. Whatever. Whatever, you know? Whatever. It's whatever. They're like-likes, now. If you know what a like-like is, they're those. Giant, giant worm fellas. Angry peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Sure. I just... I just see the giant slugs that I remember from the other Zelda games I've played. Wow. Yeah, it's just one one very long day for poor Long. Um, let's make our way back up to the dungeon, because it'll take us about that long to get back up there. We don't have the good shield, which is fine, I suppose. I don't rightly know where the, um... I know that there are other cheap shield places on this side of the map, but is this one here actually? Let's see. It would be nice to have the magic shield. This is a secret to everyone or a door repair or something. Let's stop by the fairy fountain here. But we may not need to by the time we get there. Pretty much. I guess we could also be using these. Um, but I honestly forget about them every time. So we'll get some hearts. We've got a little bit of bomb. Um, I think this will actually take us... I'm not sure which one. One of these will take us near to 6 and 7. Okay, this is not where I want to be in any way, shape, or form. See if, okay, we'll just try them all. We'll just see where we end up. Okay, this is the one I want. Oh my god.
Is this, um, we do have one potion left. Ugh. Uh, we'll just, fuck it. We'll just use, we'll just keep the blue one. If we need another one, then we're screwed anyway, so we might as well just continue on. These pea hats. It's more cars. Oh, I could use some money. Yeah, spending the 90 on the shield the first time was quite rough. I guess I could use a bit of a bit of a, a fuel a, a, a fuel unit injection. Also, I'm getting eaten by pea hats like it's nobody's business. And I'm going. I I just like going in the wrongest of directions. I don't know where I'm going, man. Okay, here's where we get the shield. We'll get the shield here. Okay, we're now kind of poor. Which is... 42 is not, not good. Um... What was the... Good dungeon. Seven was it where we ended up getting all, we could we could like we could grind a lot of money out. Yeah, I think it was seven that had a lot of money. There isn't a single boss in this game, turns out. Actually, maybe it was six that I got the money in because I was dying so much. I was able to um, collect many dollars. Let's take a look into it. Okay, great. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. Let's take a look at six. Mm-hmm. It was this one. I remember it very well. It was indeed six. But I don't know if this is gonna mean, like, I can just, like, come up here and get a bunch of money, or... If it's just gonna be, like, ten million years of nothing. Like, and Ruby every now and then. I think 3 is kind of similar to this as well. Let's see if this works. Is this going to be, like, a lot of money? Or is it just going to be a pain in my ass? This isn't gonna work. Maybe the ghosts in the graveyard would be... I'd like to have some money so that I have arrows, because the arrows are important. Great, it's this. The world's greatest spawning area, where you just have to eat pea hat. Love it. I really love that. All right. Tectites were dropping a lot, were they? I guess we could go look at some tectites. Now, will this one take me to the same spot the, uh, going through this one the other time did? Not really. Uh, 
Okay, then, you know what? You're right, buddy. I am slumping here. We're almost done. Um, we're, we're gonna just do a little bit of... Doing it for you, buddy. Oh my gosh, my sternum popped. We're gonna do a bit of farming, and that'll just take us, that'll just carry us, carry us out. We need stuff. We can't be Link without stuff. Cream, as they say. using the rod. You know what? That's a good idea. I was doing it earlier, and it was seeming to result in some extra bucks. But it, it also is nice to have an unlimited ranged weapon that kills everything in the overworld. Time does fly when you die to nuts. Pretty poignant, dude. That is really poignant, what you just said. Po poignant. There's a fiver. Over here, please. Right, well. Oh, my God. Pignant, nice. I get it. A good moblin joke as well, Joe. Oh, man, the tech types are loaded, aren't they? Okay, hold up. I don't know if that is. If that is just like a weird confirmation bias, or if that's just honest to goodness truth. But they sure did drop a lot of money. No P hats on the screen for once. No, come here. Lieber. Lieber! Lieber! Lieber? I hardly knew her. Man, don't laugh at that. That was dumb. I appreciate it, though. You know what? I appreciate it. Who am I to say? What is and what is not funny. One rupee! Oh, man, I gotta sneeze, but I can't. Because my sneezer is constantly broken. I am unable to sneeze at almost all times. I, yes, so, not yesterday, but the other day, I was, my sneezer, yeah, my ability to sneeze does not work most of the time. The other day, um, to point this out, the other day I was in the middle of a sneezing fit, which, so I was having a rare moment where I was actually sneezing, and um, I had, I think I sneezed twice, and then the third time, I got halfway through the sneeze, like, like the, the sharp inhale, and then, like, you do the sneeze part, <laughs> where you sneeze, uh, and I had, like, half the breath out of the sneeze, and it just, it just stopped. I mean, I was, I was in the process of sneezing, and it just stopped. Like, what, what is that? What's wrong with me? Why am I like this? How does that happen? I know, it was very weird. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I was worried that maybe I was the only one. But yeah, just like... I was like, how do you, how does a sneeze stop when you're sneezing? Like, <laughs> it's like one of those weird, like, 
like those like what's the sound of one hand clapping? It's like there's no answer for that. How does a sneeze not sneeze when you sneezed? How, how that doesn't make any sense. It's like something that it's like a matrix question. I got it at a discount? Oh man, not a discount sneeze. <sighs> I gotta stop buying discount sneezes, you guys. For real. Because they are garbage. The quality is terrible. It is very hard to describe to people it's never happened to. Yeah, my brother, only within the past few years, has become a double sneezer. Like, every time he sneezes, it's twice. Like, rapid fire. Oh my god! Mams? It was tweens. But I also know people who, who have, like, a multiple sneeze thing. Very interesting. Oh, what, now you guys don't have any money? Oh, we're loaded earlier. I've never tried that, no, it seems horrible. I, uh, having stuff in my sinuses are like, ugh. Oh, I did, didn't I? Wait, I'm still not. Use the rod, you criminal. I don't know, I don't yawn when uh, I'm told to. Ah! I've been speared! More money with the rod. Ah, uh, I can see it. It does, yeah. We're just in a world of confirmation bias, possibly, but... You know what? If using the rod is wrong, I don't want to be right. Look at me just throwing fireballs everywhere. Like Dinshu and Celasta. Another furry! Come here, ma'am. Ma'am? Thanks, ma'am. Minor hitting, are they? Thank you. We're up to 110 bucks. Oh, that makes sense, Job. Uh, their parts are used as currency, much like in Breath of the Wild. Look at that cash pile, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I had to lean in to read that because it was dark gray, which is, matches the dark mode background. Great. Oh, yeah, that's a fair point, Job, but no, I never have. machine gun version of this wand. If only it was useful in dungeons. It doesn't hit whiz robes. It doesn't hit dark nuts. That's the only thing it matters. Everything else can just be killed easily. I am like a blue whiz robe. I even have like a kind of a blue robe. Okay, well, you know what? Let's, um... We got a potion, we got some money. Let's, um, try and teleport back-ish to where the, uh, the place is, and then we'll, we'll give it a call it. It's kind of like a whitish, it's kind of gray, I think, but it's like a whitish blue.
I think it's blue generally because um, when you think about Link's other tunics and other games, often blue is one of those. Oh my god. Is it Navage? Like Lavage, but for your nose? That, that's pretty good, right? Oh, that's lame. <laughs> yes, Dinchu, that is correct. His other brother. Less well-known brother. Nava Navaj Opress. N no press. Alright, we've got friends. We can take any road we want, which we're going to take this... Whoa, okay. So it's different every time. Okay, so we're going to head to the dungeon now. We've got our shield. We've got our potion. We've got some bombs. We've got some money. We've got... As much as we're gonna get, I believe, at this point. We go down here. Oh, wait. No, yeah, we do. Oh, please turn, Link. Mrs. Bouquet, you mean? I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I have every episode of Keeping Up Appearances on my Plex account. You're dead now. Alright. Here we are at the entrance to, to level 9, everyone. And this is where we're going to leave it for this evening. We're going to quickly do a, um, a suspend point. We're going to create a suspend point. We're going to save it in slot 4. We're going to just fill them up. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Er, whoops. Hold on. We're going to do it this way. There we go. We'll shut it up. A suspense point, indeed. Indeed it is. My headphone is falling off my head in a forward direction. There we go. That's better. There it is. That that was it, everyone. We did it. We did it. Another day of Zelda firmly planted in the dirt. Thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. You guys have been great this evening. Um, there's been a lot of fun conversations and, and stuff going on. And I always like that. Um, thank you for the help. Thank you for sticking with me when I got faulty in, in Dungeon 8 when we were fighting Dark Nuts forever. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Um, all you guys, you guys really just dumped a bunch of bits on me. Um, Sphirna with like a total of what, 1500? 
uh, something, yeah, about 1500. And Dinshu with what, three, four hundred bits? A ton of bits. You guys are great. You guys are great. I did, I pulled through, I did, I did my best. It was tough, but we made it. We made it in the end. Um, and I had a good time. I had a good time. I know I get salty. It may seem like I'm not having a good time. I may say I'm not having a good time, but overall, I'm having a pretty good time. So, it is kind of nice to just sort of have some cheese may about whatever's going on and whatever is, uh, whatever's happening. Um, so that's it for me for the week. Um, I will be back next week on Wednesday with more Hotline Miami 2, which I've been really enjoying. Um, and if you liked Hotline Miami 1, um, you'll like that. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm working on getting the VODs up, so those will be visible at some point. Um, keep, keep, keep tuned for that. Um, it's a good time. I've been having it. It's a little bit darker, a little bit weirder than the first game, which is okay, I guess. It's, um... It's alright, I guess. I don't know. But the uh, gameplay is, is interesting. Um, at least the gameplay is, is still fun and, and a good time. Um, and then uh, I'll be back again again next Saturday, of course, with more Legend of Zelda. We'll probably finish it then. I can't imagine we spend another four hours and don't get through the last dungeon. It'll be tough, but we'll get there. We have a save point now at the beginning of it with uh, pretty good supplies, so maybe we can do some saves coming if it gets really gross. Um, and then um, tomorrow, of course, uh, since it is a lovely Saturday uh, at 5 p.m., Sphirna will be will be uh, will be streaming some Man Eater, and I think that'll be the end of Man Eater. Um, she's a big chunk of the way through the DLC. Um, I guess there could be another stream, depending on how long it goes. You doubt it? Okay. Yeah, I guess there's still quite a bit to go. Um, it seems it's a lot deeper than I expected. There's like five other... Two more? Okay. There's like five other levels of infamy and stuff to attain, so... And those are fun. So I'm looking forward to it, of course, as always. Fun to see some chart action. Um... Yeah, Jeb, it is it is quite interesting. Shark action, always good time. I'm looking forward to that. Um, it is, it's going to be a good time, because it's always a good time, and I always have a good time watching it. Um, that is uh, Saturday at, at 5 p.m. Uh, then, of course, or Saturday, that's Sunday at 5 p.m. Of course, didn't you, on Monday at also 5 p.m., Neo Complete Edition, he's... Um, it's such a good game. I can't wait to see. Can't wait to see more of that. Always enjoying of the Neo. Um, and then uh, Tuesday is going to be John Mork and Sphirna, a combined stream. Um, there's a little bit of Resident Evil 5 cleanup to do, some DLC stuff to look at, and some mercenary mode stuff. I I don't know if that'll take two streams or one stream or what, um, but that'll be fun. Always enjoy watching them pal around in that game. It was, it was really good. Um, of course, me on Wednesday at 6. Again, more Hotline Miami. Um, Thursday will be John Mork again. Um, it may be a movie night uh, on Thursday. It depends on, on if they get through. I imagine they'll get through the, what's left of Resident Evil 5 on Tuesday. I don't know. An hour-ish. It'll be it'll be something. It'll be good. I'm looking forward to whatever happens on Thursday. So yeah, they'll probably be done with it on Tuesday. Um, so Thursday will will probably be like a movie night or or something. I I I'm not sure. Is it a movie before Res Revelations two or is it a movie after? I forget what the. what the order is. Yeah, oh, okay. Well then, we'll figure that out as the time goes. So stay tuned in the Discord and we'll we'll figure that out.
and uh, bring it to you on Thursday. Uh, Friday, of course, is more Solasta, Crown of the Magister, with Dinshu and his party of miscreants made up of uh, more Serena and myself, as well as him. Uh, always a good time. Really looking forward to catching up with the VOD on Monday. Um, but that that is it for me this evening, guys. My brain is rapidly deteriorating, as it always does after the stream, and I am barely making it through these uh, these end bits. So, I will talk to you again in the Discord and, of course, everywhere else. Oh, and of course, thanks, Pilot Mike X, for following. I uh, will see you guys later. Um, have a good night.